Welcome back you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. In this video, I will be talking about what I made this week selling on TCG Player and eBay. So let me show you what I made or what I've actually sold and I'll see you guys once it's done. First item sold, 14 cards total, $2.97 shipped. As you can see right here in the background, we have two rare candies, four switch, two Giovanni, two Roxanne, one Gardenia, two Cremorant, and a Pokemon League headquarters for $2.97. One sale, six cards, $1.76 shipped. TCG player. On sale, four items. We do have four superior energy retrieval from Paldea Evolved. This one sold for $3.82 ship. Three sales. We have Radiant Greninja sold for $5.48 on, e on TCG, TCG player ship. Uh, we have this fit in card bulk right here sold for $7.83. We have a Lucario. We have three um, vintage cars, two from Fossil, one from Base Set. This one I did sold for damage, as you can see why. It is very damaged. Still sells. We got War Turtle, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur from Pokemon Go. We have the Executor from Evolution. And then we have some of the Hollows from Pokemon Go. And one of the most expensive one from this bundle is the Lugia V Star from Silver Tempest. That's the second one. The third one we have a total of 25 cards sold for 520. All of this got sold for DCG player. We have four the Dunce Bars, Tinkatuff, Nimona. Then we got Double Energy, Super Rods, Tinkaton. This is a deck exclusive. If you notice, it's not a holographic. They still do sell, so don't get rid of those. Artizone. Nimona's Backpack, Countercatcher, Arizu, two Tinker Tanks. I mean, think, yeah, and then another two Tinker Tank different ones. And then we have four Great Ball. One is from the Sword Basin, Sword and Shield base set. And then the other three is from Crown Zenith. There you go. One sale, 35 cards in this sale. All these cards got sold for $5.01 shipped. There are 35 cards total, all from 151. We got two Weezing, Balflume, Starmie, two Nita King, Mr. Mime, but all my Mewtwo, seven Mewtwo's, two Marowax, two Gerados, and one Electrode for the Hollows. And Erica, Ghastly, Geodude, Grabber, Hitmonlee, Kadabra, Mux, Nita Queen, Nidorina, Sandshrew, Slowbro, and Tentacool. That's all for this one sale. Four sales, one on eBay, three on TCG Player. This one sold for eBay on eBay for seven dollars shipped, and then we sold a Melmetal V Max for two dollars and fifteen cents shipped. This one sold for two dollars and forty-two cents shipped, and this one sold for dollar and eighty cents shipped. That's for today's sale. Sold one item today, very odd, but uh, I mean, it's able to sell. We got a damaged Wigglytuff from Jungle here. You can see how bad this damage is. Look at that. This card did sold on TCG Player for uh, $2.27 ship. Sold four items today. Sold for $1.84 ship on TCG Player. We got two Pal Pads, one Silene, and one Team Yells Cheer. Let's keep going. One sale, seven cards, sold three energy retrieval, four Poke Gear 3.0. All this card got sold on TCG Player for $3.69 shipped. As you can see, I've sold a total of 14 sales. I had 14 sales this week. Not a big sale though, not a lot of big sales. Although I was still able to walk away with a few bucks. I mean, I can't complain. These are just the commons and uncommons. Um, I'm slowly listing the V cards, the promo cards, but I have not listed any reverse hollows or hollows or any of the big ones. So I will be listing those. I have no time. I am remodeling my house. But anyways, let's go over on what I made. So after tallying all the amount of sales I had, 
I was able to profit, well not profit, I was able to um, <clears throat> walk away with $53.26, that is the gross amount. Uh, we're gonna, of course we have to deduct the, the fees and the shipping. So the fees was $11.21 and the shipping cost me about $3.49, so not bad on the shipping. Uh, I did walk away with $38.56, so that's actually still not bad. I'm able to buy uh, ETB at that price, but you know, I reinvest, right? That's what I'm doing. So <clears throat> if you are new to my channel, welcome. I appreciate you guys stopping by. The I do a weekly update, right? I do a weekly update on what I made selling on TCG Player. It's just what I do. Uh, I actually recorded for tax purposes as well. <laughs> but anyways, um, <clears throat> every week after I start stop talking about it, um, I do open up a box and one pack of 151 trying to put in a binder. So every week I'm opening up one, one pack of 151 and then we open up one set, right? I'm not sure, it depends on the set that I have. The only reason, I've opened this already multiple times, but the reason why I'm opening this is I was trying to sell it locally, but if you look, I'm trying to show you guys without damage hitting the camera. See that damage? Most people don't like buying that stuff. Um, I could sell this on, on eBay, but I'll walk away um, negative, basically, because I did pay $19 on this, and if I were to sell this on eBay for like $26, um, I'll definitely not make any money. I'll actually just waste money. So we're going to take the chance of us opening the packs and see if we could pull more value, um, on this box, right? So I know for a fact that I could actually sell this mat for $5, but this mat is getting used a lot. So I don't know if I'm going to re, I'm going to open this one and use it again. I don't know. We'll see. If you guys are getting tired of Marnie. <laughs> and of course, this promo cards and this jumbo cards are sellable. So I'm not even going to go ahead and remove that. You guys. Okay, there we go. I'll put that on the side. And of course, it does come with five packs of pounds in it. So hopefully we could pull a Mewtwo or a gold card from this crowns in it. I am still trying to complete the binder for crowns in it. So hopefully, hopefully we can find those stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. And here we go. First pack, Crown Zenith right here. See if we got something good. Cold card does not matter. I hope that it does not give me a double energy. I had a, a video where I posted, I pulled double energy. One for reverse and one for um, rare slot. I can't remember if that was the case. All right, but anyways, a rare candy, by Sharp, Shinx, Puncham, Snow Run, Ruckruff, Tangela, and our reverse is Bead. So, nothing on our reverse lot, but do we have something on the rear? Nope, this is just a Volcanion. <laughs> just a Volcanion holographic, so nothing good there. Alright, second pack. Come on, Crown's in it. Crown's in is normally good on the hits, but mostly on ETVs, though. Mostly on the ETVs, so. Hopefully we can find something good on this one. Give me a gold card or a Mewtwo, please. Come on, all right, here we go. Rare Candy, Luxio, Electric, Pancham, Switch, Snorunt, Larvesta, Tangela, and our reverse. It's a Taurus reverse and our rare. Come on, give me something good. Ah, double Taurus, how? Why? <laughs> That don't make sense. Uh, they're doing that in, for a reason. Third pack here. Third pack. So if you have not seen my video where I opened up 151, I finally pulled out my chase card. That was amazing. That was actually the best experience I had with 151. I mean, I pulled the Charizard, the Venusaur, Blastoise, all that crazy stuff. But 150 uh, Zapdos was my chase card ever since. I like the artwork on it. I think the artwork on it is really, really good. I actually do want to co collect multiple copies of those cards just because I mean I like I really do like the artwork too bad that they make an artwork where 
it shows Moltres and then on the other side is Articuno. I think that would have been that was a missed opportunity in my opinion. But anyways, it's still a beautiful card, right? So hopefully we can continue that and pull a gold card here. Here we go. Too early. <laughs> Just a regular reverse in our rare. Namorous non hollow. Wow. Zero out of three packs. That is not good. I hope we have something in this last two packs here. Otherwise, I should have just sold it on eBay. <laughs> right? Should have just sold it on eBay at this point. All right, here we go. We got Jared Ferrick to begin with. We got Energy Switch, Crocorock, with Tangela, Baltoy, Galarian Meow, Wilmer. Shanks and our reverse. Ooh! <laughs> I pulled this card so many times, but you know what? I don't mind it. I will take it for grading. Right? I'll grade this Mew. Because this card is only $5, right? But it's insane when you grade this card, it goes up to like $50 to $70, depending on the grade. But getting a 10 of this is about $70, so that's a big increase, right? I'll take a Mew, even though I've pulled this so many times already. And do we have something? Is it a double banger? <sighs> nope. Sky Seal Stone. But you know what? I'll take a Mew. Why not? Let's see. Hopefully we can find something else on this last pack of Crown Zenith. Right? Hopefully. Gold card, Mewtwo. I'll take either one. Right? I'll take either one of those. Let's see here. We got Ultra Ball. Present Hisui. Lost Vacuum, Larvesta, Odd Ish, Seal, Potion, Aaron, a Reverse, is that Radiant Charizard? I'll take it. I think I sold one for like $8 or $7. So I'll take a Radiant Charizard. Just give me an extra card on the back, right? Please, come on. No, another Taurus. Are you serious? All right, well. I don't know if I should have just kept it sealed, sold it on eBay or whatnot, take the loss, but I don't know. At this point, I don't know if I'm going to send this to grading. I don't like PSA. Um, I do like AGS though. I think I will take it to AGS instead. I do like the AI they use because there's no um, you know, favoritism and stuff. If I don't know. I've seen some PSA graded card that should have been a 10 and it ended up being an 8. That, I don't see any problem with the card so that's why I don't kind of like PSA I might go to AGS once I actually start grading cards because they actually use AI to actually grade so there's no you know it's always the same grade regardless and they'll let you know why it reached that grade so that's why I actually want the, P the AGS but we'll see oh we got a fire holographic we got how many swirls on this one you <laughs> you we have two two swirls we got one right there we have one more right there right so two swirls i actually have one that has four in my binder right now so all right we got a fire energy on this one so whatever we find on this pack will be added to the binder hopefully we can pull something amazing last time we pulled an ex last week but i did pull a zap those during the weekday so hopefully I can find another good pack in the, or good cards in this pack uh, hopefully an evolution set let's find out all right we got Goldeen, Weeping Bell, Ghastly, Paris, Need Arena, we got Radicate, we got Erica's Invitation, come on Ah, no evolution fact, but we do have a Cabotops. All right, we either got a, the second section is either SIR, Full Arts, uh, e, uh, what else, Il Illustration Rare. Here we go, let's find out. Come on, 151. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. <laughs> ah. All right, last chance, we get the... Double unique rare hollows or the full art. I think that's all you get from the last row, right? Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. Give me something 
bro. No. <laughs> we're back. We're back on the losing streak when it comes to 151. So I'll go ahead and add this in the binder. I will see you guys in the next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd appreciate it if you could. Appreciate the support. Hit the thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.